Hallo Freunde und willkommen zurück zu Chicken Police. Wie ihr seht, wir stehen wieder in der Bar. Warum? Ich weiß es selber nicht genau. Er speichert halt irgendwo, wo es ihm beliebt. Und tja, wenn er fortsetzen kriegt, bin immer, ich verliere immer einige Minuten. Ich weiß nicht, wie er speichert. Ich werde daraus nicht ganz schlau, aber das ist halt wahrscheinlich vielleicht nur bei mir. Ich habe keine Ahnung. Aber andere das auch haben das Problem. Weil, wie, wie gesagt. <lacht> ich wechsle extra die Szenerie mehrmals, damit der Jo speichert und er speichert nicht. Ich weiß es nicht. Mag er nicht. Ja, niemand will dorthin. Gut, wir müssen wir zu Frank. Clock, I have a bad feeling about das haben wir eh schon gesehen. So, und zum Glück ist jetzt nicht viel verloren gegangen. Ne? Aber es ist halt lästig. Ich meine, jetzt könnt ihr euch vorstellen, ne? du verlierst immer ein paar Minuten. Es ist halt immer lästig, die Dialoge wieder durchzugehen. Mann, ich sage es nicht tragisch, aber es ist halt eigenartig. Ne? Weil selber kann ich nicht speichern. Wenn ich selbst speichern könnte, wäre es ein bisschen easier. Are you ready? No, but who cares, right? So ist es, wenn ich das right. jetzt rein da... Let's go. Let's go. Was haben wir schon drin? Easy peasy. Oh, schön. <lacht> so, Just when you thought you were prepared for everything. Well, we weren't. It was dark. Then, as our eyes slowly adjusted to the lack of light, we saw him. Oh, damn it, Frank. What have you done to yourself? What have you nicht. got yourself into? And then I thought, if I don't Ist get off this case, zusammen? is that how I'm gonna end up too? Oh, don't even the graph. Don't me with nectar and light me with fire. Who's it? Isn't a Bloody chicken, please! Hä? Er geht sie gut. Man ist ein Hirschkäfer, ne? Ja. Ich meine, natürlich ist es nicht unbedingt schön anzuschauen. Hallo, Frank. Wie are you feeling? You know, Sonny, we insects breathe through little holes anyway. So I just got more air in my windpipes, right? <lacht> Ich sehe, ich kann, oder haben sie die Hand abtrennt? Stop talking, Frank. We'll get you out of here and you'll be fine. The hell you will. You always were an incurable optimist, Marty. You can see your way out of a ship that's both on fire and sinking, eh? Äh, wäre nicht das erste Mal tatsächlich. Well, actually, that really happened once. Ist nicht so lang her. Drei, vier Jahre. <lacht> Listen, Frank. Who ah, ja. did this? Not just who, Sonny. It's who and why. Well, then who and why? Oh, damn it, man. It hurts like hell. I know, buddy. I know. But... Now listen. And keep your non-existent ears pointed, chickens. Naja, der kann ja auch er hört über die Fühler wahrscheinlich. Yes, Frank. Den haben sie richtig Gliedmaßen abgedreht. Das, das, das kann ich mal, weil. Da fehlt ja alles, oder? Oh, fuck! Come on, Frank. What were you gonna say? We are meat! Ja, die werden zu Fleisch vor, das habe ich gleich gewusst. What? What's that, Frank? Cluck, he's delirious. No, you idiots, don't you understand? Meat! Is us. This is not I understand, but nah, he's talking nonsense, Sonny. Shit, the light. I see the fucking light. It's here. Don't go there, Frank. Please. It's really bright. Frank. Fucking hell. Frank. Fuck. Yeah. It's over. I know. Meat is us. Wo sitzt da? Das habe ich nicht gesehen. Ja, es ist ja die Gerede gewesen, dass es einen Fleischersatz gibt. Ja, diese Firma boomt ja sehr und alles drum. Und man braucht ja nur eins und eins zusammenzählen. Das war ja von Anfang an irgendwie klar. What the hell does that even mean? I don't know, Marty, but we're gonna find out. And if we end up like this? Frank dug something up he shouldn't have. And he spat in somebody's face. Somebody 
who shouldn't be messed with. I know that formula. Yeah, me too. So? Let's take a good look around. Maybe we can figure out exactly what Frank was talking about. May the great wild ones rest his soul. Or the big bright light or whatever they call it. Anywho, farewell, buddy. Come on, let's get to work. Frank is told. Reden wir mit Frank, haben wir abgeschlossen. Logischerweise. Ah, feathers. What do we do with them now? Call the police? Not yet. Sonny, the rules, the big book. You're kidding me, right? Of course I'm kidding. I love breaking the rules. <laughs> Joking aside, we need to know more before we make this case official. You know, our colleagues would just bag him, clean the place up, and be done with it. I mean, he was just a bug. They wouldn't even open a file on him. It's unlikely. So? What now? We know someone who can help. Oh, no, you don't mean him, do you? Yes, I do. Bubo. Well, the old ex-coroner owes us a few favors. Okay. Ugh, don't we owe him a few? Well, it's basically the same thing. Okay, so we're gonna cruise around with a clucking dead body? No, no, no. We're bringing Bubo here. Once he's examined him, we'll give Frank a proper burial. Don't worry. But first, we have to finish what he started. And we gotta leave no trace that we were ever here. Like ghosts. Exactly. Chicken ghosts. <laughs> or ghost chickens. Are you finished? Oh yeah, I'm finished. Dann müssen wir dann zum Bubo. Frank is told. Yeah, Clucking schon. feathery hell. You took the word right out of my beak, partner. How long have we known the old bug? I don't know, ten years, something like that. I was just a chick back then. A greenhorn little snot next to you. I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Fond memories. Yeah, we had some. Well, rest in peace, Frank. May the great light shine upon you. Although I don't know if you were religious or not, but... Uh... I think Frank only believed in one thing. The truth. Wow. That was... nice. I can be nice. Yeah, sure. Also die Bubus Klinik, Geheim, Bubus geheime Klinik, von deren Existenz natürlich jeder weiß. Hier behandelt der alte Vogel die endlosen Reihen von kriminellen und außerdienstehenden Polizisten. Ein staubiges kleines Loch voller merkwürdiger Dinge, aber es passt perfekt zu Bubo. Clucking feathery hell. Okay. Viel mehr ist hier nicht. Okay, ich wollte nur schauen. Haben wir, ihm, haben wir dann schon mal außen vor? Fangen wir mal an Bono. Das ist nicht ein gutes Zeichen. Nein, es ist nicht. Hat er gone mad? Ich meine, war jemand oder etwas, das ihn crazy hat? Er war komplett verletzt von dem, was er an der Arbeit Und ich bin froh, dass das was ihn zu seinem Tod führte. Shit. Chicken shit. I said chicken shit and some shit in the trick. Damn, this looks familiar. Just like home. Riots in the hive, the king, the MEAT, the fall of the Wessler Empire. This is an incoherent mess. There must be a system to it, but unfortunately, only Frank would know it. Do you really think we're in the middle of some big conspiracy? It's too early to say, but we can't leave it at that. 
Frank was involved in something serious. So what do we do? Are we gonna interrogate the king? Maybe. Better not. I mean, not yet. But later. Oh, wild ones. This is gonna be a joyride. All these scribbles and newspaper cuttings. I'm afraid it's gonna be impossible to untangle without Frank. Let's have a closer look. There's bound to be clues. Concentrate, old cock. What else is there that could be important? Look, there's something interesting okay, here. Brave. A letter. Shall we read it? Yeah, well, no. Can't hurt Frank now, can it? And anyway, it's been opened already. Perfect argument. Now, let's see. Ein Brief, den wir auf Franks Schreibtisch gefunden haben. Er wurde von einer Frau namens Selina geschrieben. Okay. Ich kann dir gar nicht genug dafür danken, was du für mich getan hast. Das Leben in Avirige, in Aviren ist traumhaft. Hier sind alles offen und nett. Ich glaube, dass ich auch einen sehr netten Jungen kennengelernt habe. Ich habe mich noch nie so frei gefühlt, seit ich aus dem Schatten meiner Mutter und des Insektennests getreten bin. Ich stehe auf ewig in deiner Schuld und werde immer deine Freundin sein, Selina. Selina. Everything here is covered in it. Old newspaper articles, ancient files, obscure memos, and all sorts of crazy scribbles. A good detective has to do that sometimes. But I doubt it's necessary now. Monivis. Zelina. That must be the Spider Queen's daughter. So... Frank helped her escape the Hive and Clawville. Seems like it. Wait. For the Great Wild Ones, if the Queen finds out about this, she'll have us hanged. Well, she can't hurt Frank now. But she can hurt us. Who knows how she'll react to this news. Auch das, das, was sie hat. And we made her a promise. So, what do we do? We have two options. We tell her the truth, or we lie to her. Simple as that. I don't like either. Welcome to the real world, buddy boy. All tough decisions, no reward. This looks familiar, just like home. Concentrate, old cock. Okay. Ja, hier ist sonst nichts mehr. Wir können eigentlich nur mal gehen. Let's Warte go. Mal. Damn, this looks from. Okay, now bust. Let's go. Down to the hole we go.
To what do we owe the pleasure of yet another visit, gentlemen? Mm -hmm. We went to Frank's. And how's the good Mr. Private Eye doing? Well, he's been better. He's dead. <laughs> oh, we're sorry to hear that. Really? You don't seem very surprised. In any case, he had something that might interest you about your daughter. About our... We beg your pardon. Is this true? Tell us what you know. Immediately. Frank Harvidson, come with Tochter, is in Avirian. Remember by the Vahas. Frank helped her escape. Your daughter is in Aviria. Is that so? In Aviria? We found a letter from your daughter thanking Frank for helping her get out of her prison. And she describes how happy she is in Aviria. How happy? Your Majesty, your daughter is free now, and she does seem happy. Why don't you just let her go? Like you did, detective. What? You haven't seen your daughter in years because you don't want to, have you? That's... that's quite different. Really? Okay. Anyway, thank you for telling us. What we do with this information is our business. But you have fulfilled our bargain, so we will do the same. Meaning? If you have any trouble with the Golden Fang Clan, or any other criminal organization for that matter, you have the support of the Great Web. That's good enough for me. Though to be honest, I hope I never have to ask for your help. Let's hope you're right. Now we want this sticky, okay. The Queen's Quest. Yeah, we have this must have out from I think it's sicherly not schlecht and to know it, man. We send the Kiva around, no? And when we're there on the Arsch, then it's booked, man, say, no? And the doctor can with a machine, where he wants to, no? That's where so my idea dahinter, why I just said this, but when they're there again, we'll find out. And then, no? Tschüss, Papa. Ah, no, 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 was haben wir eher hoffnungslos verloren? Und das habe ich gesagt, das ist so weit nicht verkehrt. Bubos Klinik. Good old Dr. Bubo. He used to be a coroner at the station, but he was fired a couple of years ago. Too many organs and chemicals disappeared while the old bird's secret lab just kept growing and growing. Since then, the place has become a kind of backstreet clinic, frequented by criminals and bent cops. I can't count how many times we've been stitched up by the old owl. Of course, we never asked for anesthetic. We were too scared of losing an organ or two when we woke up. If we woke up. So it's mostly pain that comes to mind when Bubo's name comes up. But the fact is that the owl was a fantastic pathologist in his day, so he may have some useful information. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, can anyone ever be ready for him? No. Well, not really. Well, let's get this over with. Hey, Bubo, you old owl. Ooh, Ooh. I really didn't <laughs> need you guys. Shot, cut, burn, or what? Spit it out quickly. I'm having a bad day. It's nighttime, Bubo. Day, really? night, night, day, who cares? It doesn't make any difference for me. So, what do you want? What if we just wanted to say hello to an old friend? No, finally. Yeah, and I'm the featherless, holy virgin swan. Okay. <laughs> There are a few things you might be able to help us with. Have you been in a no-go zone again? Something like that. There's this case that takes us to some pretty dark and strange places. 
There's always a case with dark and strange places. Have you heard of the distant light? Woo-hoo, in the hive. Hmm, you're not messing around, are you? Okay, I'm interested in this one. Just a little. So, can we ask you a few questions? Well, since you're already here... But don't take too deep a sniff. I spilled some chemical, and the truth is... I don't even know what it was. If we're lucky, we'll just get a little stoned. What a prospect. <laughs> Super. No coffee? You don't want to drink the coffee I drink, Marty, my boy. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, okay. All legal stuff, right, Doc? Of course, Sonny. You want my permission, perhaps? <laughs> you know what? Yes, please. You're bluffing, and so am I. <laughs> so we can end this conversation right here. <laughs> you old geezer. <laughs> you wrinkled old cock. Ooh, can I play this too? No. Why is this framed? They usually frame artwork, don't they? The word artwork means different things to different animals, Marty. I bet your house is full of pinup posters. <laughs> you think I'm that simple? I don't have to answer that, do I? If you must know, I like sophisticated vintage paintings. You do? If you don't believe me, come see for yourself. Actually, how come you've never been to my place? Must be the Because you've never gotten me properly drunk, sweetheart. Well, that ship has probably sailed. Laura may never let me back home. Come on, you two were made for each other. Do you really think so? A masochistic cougar goddess and a danger junkie rooster? You're kidding. It's a match made in heaven. <laughs> you're being sarcastic again. And you're getting better at being a detective. Wait, don't touch it, Sonny. What? I wasn't going to. Who knows what kind of ancient, dark, voodoo pathogens breed here? Voodoo pathogens? You haven't been snorting Bubo's secret medicine again, have you? No, never again. That night I'll never forget. Uh, neither will the poor orangutan. Remember the last time you <laughs> lay here <laughs> while I held your hand? You mean the time you shot me and then had to hold me down on the bed so I wouldn't wring your neck while Bubo was removing your pellets from my ass? Memories are so much more fun in retrospect, aren't they? We'll see how you remember the Laura incident later. Hey, why'd you bring that up? Because I'm mean and I enjoy it. That's his leave. Good, Bubo. So, ask your silly detective questions. Can't you see I have a hundred things to do? No. Yeah. Well, no, not really. Sonny always has some silly detective questions. He's really good at that. And you could be better at shutting the cluck up. Ooh, I miss this so, so much. Gut, wir haben ja einiges zu besprechen. I don't have all night chickens. Ask me your questions and get out of here. Okay, okay, no need to dissect us right away. Die Hände des Pianisten fangen wir gleich mal hier an. Master of Bones, old man. Ooh, thank you very much. If you got to break him or fix him, look for old Bubo. What a slogan. We have a friend who has a badly broken hand, a pianist from the hive. Do you think you could fix it? I can't tell you anything offhand, but get the guy, or at least his hand, and I'll see what I can do. <laughs> That's it? No, you have to do something for me in return? Oh, you're right, Marty boy. Marty. 
So, uh, since you're going to the hive, speak to the queen for me. I want an audience. Why would you want to speak to the queen? That's my secret, okay? That's all I ask. Deal? Deal. And the pianist will be sent here. So be it. Oopie. There's this new meat substitute. Yeah, this money. Yeah. It's called <laughs> M E A T. Do you know anything about it? A little too salty for my taste, but otherwise it's yeah, really good. Home for. That's not what I mean. Something more scientific. I don't know what it's made of, but it's not meat. And it still tastes deceptively like meat. Like chicken. Chicken? How do you know what chicken tastes like? Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to, Marty boy. Have you ever had it tested? I mean, under laboratory conditions. Why would I do that? But if you get some, I might as well do it. For a price, of course. That's what we're going to do. Good for you. Good for you. Hmm. Corpses are disappearing from the cemetery in the hive, Bubo. Have you heard anything about this? You're asking me of all people? We know you were deep in the Clawville organ trade in the past. We're not here to judge. Well, I am. <laughs> Those <laughs> times are history, okay? okay? I'm off the organs or any other body parts. I've been clean Seem for young. seven okay. years. That's seven years. Okay, okay. That's not why we're here. Have you heard anything about the disappearances? Afraid not. But if I ever get any salesmen peddling insect organs knocking on my door, you'll be the first to know. Thanks. Super. Okay, über Frank. Frank can't The truth is, we're not here to chat. What a stunning surprise. Remember Frank? Frank Castellini? The three-tooth walrus guy? No, but almost. Oh, yeah. I know. The one-eyed jaguar with that ridiculous squeaky voice. What? No, don't be silly. Then I don't know who. Tell me. The horned beetle detective from the hive. Ah, you mean half-armed Frank. Why didn't you say so? What's with that poor bugger? He owes me 20 bucks. Well, you're not getting that 20 back anytime soon. I knew that son of a bum would run away. He's dead. Oh. Is it for the Oh, indeed. And we need you to examine him. Here we go. I knew you'd drag me into some crazy suicide scenario, but no. The answer is no. I don't do bugs. You don't do bugs? What are you, a buggish? No, you clucking duck. But as much as it may not seem like it, I like to live. And I'd still like to be doing it in the future. Come on, old bird. Anyone who's been involved in insect issues since the Segregation Act won't last long. It's just the way it is. And your two pretty eyes ain't gonna change that, Martin. No, we should be all this. So I have pretty eyes? Look, buddy boy, I don't need this shit. But Frank was our friend. He was your friend too, or something. Hmm. Is that a yes? No, that's a hmm. But fine. Okay, bring him here and I'll check him out. What? Bring him here? What did you think? That I was gonna dissect someone in a dark little hole in the hive? Clock in hell. Okay. Okay? We'll get his body. Fine. And hurry. But also make sure he's out of here without a trace. We will, Bobo. And thanks. We, uh... Oh, you want? Don't say that yet, Sonny. 
Something tells me it's gonna be a long, long night. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wasn't planning on going home anyway. Irgendwas ist anders. Something is different here. Busy times, boys. I'm a little more scattered than I should be. No, it's like something's missing. You mean Ursula? That's it. You feathered bastard. Has the poor she-bear finally come to her senses and left you again? Ooh, you know the situation very well, don't you, sonny boy? And me. We're kind of like Bachelors Anonymous now. She's gone again, but this time for good. You just feel it when they leave in such a way that they never come back. Shit, I was just trying to be funny. I'm uh, sorry, old bird. I don't need your pity. Since then, I'm a free bird. And I can free work bird. as much as free I bird. want. Good for us. I Good, I good for song. you. <laughs> but, uh, well, uh, I don't know. Take care of yourself, okay? Cut the crap, Sonny, or I'll puke. Yep, there's the boobo everyone knows and loves. Okay. So. Uh, die haben verlorene Melodien. Da könnte man vielleicht was hinkriegen. Was war noch? Frank ist tot. Was ist Meat? Ey, 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 ey. Am besten fahren wir gleich das ferne Licht. Let's go. Ja, mit den Rema gleich, aber genau zuerst kommen wir runter und holen uns einen Termin. We have a friend, a doctor. He'll help us with the pianist. But in return, he wants to meet you. Really? Why would he want to meet us? What kind of doctor is he? He used to be a decent one, a real talent. Then a police coroner. Then a convict. And now he's got a backstreet practice in the heart of Clawville. And he has a way with bones. That sounds most intriguing. The Great Web doesn't know about him yet. Which, frankly, surprises us. But yes, we'll allow him to see us. You can tell him he's free to enter the hive. He won't be harmed. Will do. Thank you, ma'am. Perfect. Damit ist auch das geklärt. Er kann dorthin. Also ist er jetzt unterwegs dorthin? Douglas ist unterwegs. Jetzt müssen wir nur mit dem Pianisten reden, jawohl dann. You have a little more iron in your... Are you a doctor? That's not the right way. Um. Oh, you again. You're still alive. That's good to see. Did you find out what you wanted? As a matter of fact, we did. It's a surprise to us too, but maybe more than we wanted. That's really good to hear. But still, you know... A lot of the truth that comes out of the hive is unlikely to be true anywhere else. I don't get that. No, I think I do. Different laws, different rules, different truths. As the top detective says. Thanks, Bart. We'll keep that in mind. 
Or is it the Pianese thing that Douglas? It's not. Let's go. Feathers. Frank's gone. Someone else got to him first. What do you mean, someone else? Who the cluck needs a dead bug? Yeah, meat. The same clucker who digs up the bodies in the graveyard. Oh, yeah, you've got a point. We need to take a good look around. The culprits must have left some kind of clue. How the hell can you be so calm? Rest assured, Marty, I'm not. Whoever did this, I'm gonna finish him off. This is now personal. Good, make it personal. That's always the best way. I think the big book says the exact opposite. You see, son, that's why I don't read. Okay, Frank. Damn, Frank. Look, there's something in there. What do you see? Gegenstand erhalten. Goldener Fangzahn. Uh. Das war gewaltiger Zufall, oder? Ein goldener Fangzahn, das Symbol des Golden Fang Clans. Beweis und Andenken in einem. Gehört der Mi gehört das dir, Mick? Okay. There's nothing else here, just this stain. Sein gelbes Blut. Muss ich mir an Ding denken, Sin City. Oder Bruce Willis, der den anderen in Gelben da auseinander nimmt. It's a tooth, Marty. Or a fang, to be more precise. Made of gold. It doesn't get much more on the nose than that, does it? Just confirms our suspicions. The Golden Fang Clan collects dead bugs? And murder is probably also on their agenda. But why did they leave it here? Is it some kind of message? Or Frank knocked it out before he was killed. Ah, I don't get this, boss bird. Well, I have a hunch, but it's getting late. Let's figure this out in my office. You mean in that dark little hole you call home? If I remember correctly, you don't have any place better at the moment. You're right. I'll zip it. Good. Let's make like chickens and get the cluck out of here. Mischling, Mick Castle, Mandrill, Mandrillus, Sphinx. Mick Castle, auch bekannt als Mick der Mischling, ist das Oberhaupt des Golden Fanklands und der stellvertretende Anführer des ehemaligen Wessler Verbrecherimperiums. Genau deswegen kommt bei mir irgendwie so bekannt. Warum man den nicht auch gesehen gehabt? Nachdem sein Boss Ibn Wessler und dessen Bruder Albert Wessler von den Chicken Polis aus dem Verkehr gezogen wurden, gründete Mick den mächtigsten Nachfolgeklan der zersplitterten Verbrecherbande. So entstand der Golden Fang Clan, benannt nach Micks vergoldenen Reißzahn. Nur drei Jahre nach dem Zusammenbruch des Wessel Imperiums hat Mick in erstaunlichem Tempo eine unglaubliche Macht erreicht und beherrscht nun die womöglich gefährlichste Gang der Stadt. Ein rücksichtsloser Psychopath, der sich um nichts als sich selbst schert. Mhm. Die wir jetzt nirgends hin. Auch nicht zum Bub. Okay. Wir müssen in unsere Wohnung. Ah, the smell of dust and broken dreams. But what's with all these boxes? Wir waren schon mal hier. I'm leaving soon, Marty. For good. Soon as we get this case out of the way. 
Ah, yes. You're around the wilderness trip, right? But really, you'll just leave everything and never come back? I mean, your friends? Friends? Yeah, friends. Like me. Or Monica, or... There's nothing to tie me here, Marty. Since Molly left. Ah, Molly, Molly, Molly. What? Always Molly. How many years has it been? Do you even remember? Yeah, I remember. Every single miserable day. Jeez, old bird, can you even hear yourself? Shouldn't you be... What, Marty? Moving on. Get on with your life. If you don't have someone to stay for, go and get someone worth staying for. Oh, yeah, sure, because it's that simple. Yes, it's exactly that simple. It would be, if you wanted to. Marty, please, don't talk about things you don't understand. You're right. I'm not in your shoes. That's fair. But to leave everything and just go off into the wilds? Sure, it sounds romantic, but do you even know where you're going? I have no clucking idea, and I don't care. But I do. Look, let's just finish this, okay? That's all I ask. Yeah, okay. Okay, we can Marty befragen. Listen, Sonny, about what the Queen said. <sighs> what do you mean? That it all started with us? This downfall? Because we caused the Wessler Empire to collapse? I I've never thought about it like that before. I have, countless times. And? What's your conclusion? I've been over this a million times in my head, Marty. And you know what? Maybe she's right. Maybe we did cause all this. But if I had to do it over again, well, I'd do it over again. Why? Because it was the right thing to no. do. And because it was our job. Maybe you're right, but still... You don't know what would have happened if we hadn't done it. Maybe everything would have been better. Maybe a lot worse. So what's the point of dwelling on it? Huh. Usually you're the gloomy, depressed, pissed off, grumpy type. And yet now you're comforting me. Well, maybe I can change. Ah, chicken shit. You're Sonny. You'll always be Sonny. Don't go weird on me, Marty, okay? Understood. Puzzle time. So let's get our act together and see what we've got. A mysterious woman, missing bodies, the Golden Fang Clan, the Spider Queen, and Frank. All in one night. This could be a new record. Concentrate, Marty. We need to piece together a logical chain of events from this whole mess. Yeah, let's investigate the cluck out of this shit. Is that your new slogan? Yeah. Work on it. <laughs> okay, setze die Ereigniskette zusammen, indem du die Ereignisse mit den richtigen Tieren kombinierst. Wähl das Ereignis aus, das am besten ins Feld passt. Dieses Ereignis kann nur einmal verwendet werden. In jedes Feld gehören ein oder zwei Tiere. Dasselbe Tier kann nicht in mehreren Feldern vorkommen. Du kannst deinen Fortschritt am unteren Rand des Bildschirms einsehen. Abgeschlossene Felder sind gelb hervorgehoben. Diese Dame hat mich kontaktiert. Um ihn mit ihren vermissten Ehemann zu sprechen. Also, ja, okay. Auf dem Friedhof ist etwas faul. Um über den vermissten Ehemann zu sprechen, die Toten wurden ausgegraben. Ja, das wird schon so stimmen. Er hat sich mit den falschen Gang eingelassen. Dem Golden Frank Clan. Uh, Frank. Ah, 
wir mal. Hat sich mit der falschen Gang eingelassen. Im Golden Fang Gang. Ah, die Spinnenkönigin. Auch nicht. Ach so, dann werden wir ihm da hin tun. Okay, so ist es. Ich verstehe schon. Das Äffchen, ja, ja. So, man das. Und am Ende wurde er tot aufgefunden. This Milo guy was working in the textile factory, which suddenly closed down. So he started to work for Frank, our old pal. But the job wasn't long lived. Neither was he, and even his body disappeared. Along with several other bodies, so his wife came to you. Who didn't paint a pretty picture of the hive. And then we found a clue in the cemetery that drew us to the distant light. Where we learned a lot from the Spider Queen. For example, that the Golden Fang rules the Hive and is keeping them in its thrall. And that our old friend Frank was neck deep in it. Sadly, Frank won't be providing us with information. Unless it's from beyond the grave. And then his body disappeared. Which we have to find. And we know where to look. But we're gonna need some heavy artillery for the job. And we can't pursue this case officially. So we have to keep it a secret. Quite a prospect. The chicken police are back in action. Shut up, Marty. Okay. Louis Nummer ist okay, 555932. Louis müssen wir anrufen. Hören wir jetzt wieder weg? Ah. Na, kennen wir nicht. Ja, dann rufen wir das Kanickel halt am Rand, ne? Let's see. Fünf, 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 neun, drei, zwei. Hey, you old carrot chewer. Hello, Sonny, my, my, my dear friend. It's been a long time since I heard your voice. How can I help you tonight? Uh, sorry to call you at this hour, but... Could you get Marty a room, just for tonight? Um, well, I, I, I was just leaving, uh, but sure, we'll manage. Ah, uh, thanks, Lewis. Wait, where are you going at this hour? Isn't it almost morning? Oh, it's just a little business, Sonny. D -d 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 Don't worry about it. I'm opening the apartment for Marty. Thanks again, buddy boy. Okay. A picture was beginning to form, not clear. Ist er wieder mit involviert, wo ich sie irgendwie verschwinde? Details already, worrying details. A queen of a hidden world, a king of a dying world. Graves dug up, bodies missing, a golden fang, and a dead friend. Quite a night. Marty's here, and he's confident as ever. But I can see the skin on the corner of his beak twitching a little. He's holding on tight as he rides along with me on yet another crazy, dangerous, and overly mysterious case. But he should be at home to save his crumbling marriage. I should be somewhere else, too, on that round-the-world trip I've been planning for so long. But, yeah, this is me. This is us. Chicken police till the end. Well, that end may be close. What is it, Sonny? What's worrying you? I was just thinking that maybe this is the very case that really is gonna end the chicken police. Eesh, it must be depressing being Sonny Featherland 24 hours a day. It is, Marty. 
It really is. Okay, Kapitel 2 of Kings and Showgirls. Oh, gibt's wieder Showgirls. Nice. We had to keep secret all day what we were really working on. The boss wouldn't approve the case of a dead insect, not to mention the lost bodies. So with a few packs of cigarettes and a couple of pots of coffee, we waited out the end of the shift to finally go into the hive again. Because we never learn. The shift is over, Marty. Can we get to the real work? <laughs> Thanks to the wild ones. This day almost killed me. Don't tell me. Even the paperwork was scarce. Don't animals want to eat each other anymore? See? Everything used to be better. <laughs> Meanwhile, okay. in homicide, life goes on. Everybody's just shooting and beating each other to death. What are we coming to? I hear you, young fella. What? Why are you looking like that? Don't look behind you. Oh, no. Don't tell me it's... Santino Featherland and Martin Mexican. Ah, oh, feathers. I knew it. I'm sure he just wants to say goodnight. Fighting Santino. The sweet sign. Ach Gott. Gut. Wir haben ein neues Thema zum Befragen. Aber ich werde es wagen und die Folge hier mal beenden. Ja, ihr seht schon, wir haben jetzt wieder länger, wir haben längere Folgen. Ich denke, das ist ganz okay. Wir kommen in der Story ein bisschen voran. Macht mir auch nicht Spaß. Muss ich sagen, so. Ist ja leichter mit dem Flatmess gestaltet, muss ich mir nicht so erinnern ins Zeug. Gut, Freunde. So, ja, auf jeden Fall danke fürs Zusehen und ich hoffe, ihr seid beim nächsten Mal wieder mit dabei. Ich würde mich freuen. Tschüss.